Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the condenser fan motor in a GE refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, a flat blade screwdriver, and a socket wrench with a quarter inch head. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new condenser fan motor. This condenser fan motor is located at the back of the refrigerator, at the bottom inside the machine compartment, behind the cover panel. It blows air through the condenser coils and over the compressor, cooling them down. If the temperature in both compartments is way above normal, and you don't hear the motor is running, check and replace the condenser fan motor if needed. Now we're at the back of the fridge and to get to the part, we need to remove this uh, rear access panel. There's a three quarter inch screws and I'm going to use a quarter inch nut driver to take them out. Now I'm going to lift it up and now we can remove it. Next I'm going to remove this uh, water inlet valve because it's on the way we need to get to the one screw there at the back. I'll take it out. There's a, a quarter inch screw here. I'm using a nut driver. And if you ask me what size is it, I will tell you it's a quarter inch. And I'm going to pull out that valve. All right, I'm going to uh, lift it up and uh, tape it to the cabinet so it wouldn't be on the way. Next step would be removing this uh, condenser motor fan blade. I'm going to use my uh, fingers, just like that, and push it off the motor shaft. If you think it's kind of hard to do it with your bare hands, use the uh, uh, flat blade screwdriver. As you can see, it's kind of filthy. So we need to wash it with the warm soapy water before we're going to install it onto the new motor. We need to get to the plug which is located behind this large plug. So first I'm going to unplug this one and squeeze these tabs on the side and pull it apart. Then I'm going to take it out. Next would be unplugging that plug over there. I'm going to just squeeze these uh, side tabs, locking tabs, and pull it out. Next, we're going to move to the opposite side of this uh, divider, and uh, we need to uh, take out this plug. I'm going to use the uh, flat blade screwdriver, and I press on that tab inside here and pull on the harness at the same time. Then I'm going to the top of it, and I'm going to do the same thing. At this point, when we have the uh, electrical harness disconnected, we need to remove uh, two quarter inch screws. One is here and one is on the opposite side. And we can take out this bracket and the motor. So I'm using the uh, socket with a quarter inch head. And I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to pull out the motor from the bracket and make sure that the grommet stays in the bracket. This is the old condenser fan motor next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, so we're gonna install the, uh, that bracket, the rear bracket onto the uh, back of the motor like that and i'm going to bring it in and uh, insert the shaft into this opening and uh, align that 
two holes here and I'm going to use a uh, quarter inch nut driver because it has a magnetic tip and I'm going to secure this side of the motor bracket I am not going to tighten it real well just a little snag and I'm going to install the second screw and that will be a little tricky we need to see that holes aligned I'm gonna place it in and I'm going to continue uh, by using this uh, quarter inch uh, socket wrench so. and I'm gonna tighten this one now we can plug in this uh, plug into the divider now we again on the compressor side of the divider and we're going to plug this in believe it or not this is our old condenser motor fan blade and we're going to install it onto the shaft so this end goes first press it on and uh, I'm going to slide it on the shaft and until you will feel that the sh shaft's end is going through that little hole here that would be the position all right so i'm gonna reconnect this plug so now i'm gonna remove this tape and i'm gonna place uh, the water in the valve all right, I'm going to match the holes here and I'm going to install the water valve. There's a quarter inch screw. I'm going to use a nut driver. And now we can close up the patient. That the access panel goes in. And we're going to match these holes and secure it with the uh, three quarter inch screws uh, using a nut driver. All right, we're done. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. 